Hi folks, welcome to another Stall13.com video. For a lot of you, this isn't going to make a lot of sense, but this is about the world of horses. And there's a lot of people in the world of horses, not just someone who boards a horse or has one horse in your backyard. We've got people all over the world listening to the World of Horses radio show on Sunday nights. Check out the website, www.stall13.com, just like the videos. Now, the point of this video is, is we're a working horse ranch. And one of the most valuable pieces of equipment on this ranch is a beat-up old used trailer. What we have here is you'll see these everywhere. They're on Craigslist. They're all over the United States for sale. Is This is just a pickup truck bed trailer. I paid $100 for it. I put a box on it for $50. And then, as you can tell, there's a lot of equipment in here. We use this for maintenance on the trails. You can see we got rakes, pitchforks, uh, sledgehammers, picks, brooms, everything that it needs, clippers, loppers, everything, including a weed whacker and a chainsaw. But what I want to do is I want to talk about what, why you would want this. We have to put a tarp on it, birds in the barn. I'm going to make a video about birds in the barn, I promise you. I want to talk a little bit about having a trailer like this. Maybe you've got a small trailer, just a small acreage. Maybe you have a large ranch like we do here at the home place but you really want some type of a trailer that's always equipped and ready to go. Think of it as a giant rolling toolbox. We have a generator because we have a circular saw, we have a grinder, we have an electric drill, we have extension cords, gas for the weed, e weed eater, and the chainsaw. We've got nails, fence insulators, electric fence, bob wire, bars, everything in this trailer, including a garbage can. And if you notice, the overwhelming majority of space in this trailer is wide open. The reason is for brush, debris, garbage, fence posts, lumber. We're going to build some couple bridges on the trails here, so I'm going to have this full stack full of lumber for the bridges we're going to build. This trailer is ready to go. This is about being prepared. One of the mistakes that people make when they own horses, they have a boarding facility, a ranch, or maybe you just have a couple horses in your backyard. You may take care of the tack. You're gonna take care of your horses and your hay and all that, that's, that's a given. But one of the weak links in a horse operation is the tools that maintain that horse operation. How do you take care of them? What do you do with them? How organized are you? Is there a place for everything? You know, you can make jokes and talk about OCD or all kinds of funny little alphabet letters and say, well, that's just too anal or that's too obsessive. But no, when we want a hammer, we want a nail, we need to do something in an emergency, in a storm, or to help a horse, we know where to go. Do you? How fast can you get to things to make those emergency repairs? How fast can you fix something? How fast can you get to a pair of bolt cutters if you've got a horse and fence? How fast can you get to a hinge to fix a door on a barn in a storm? This has been another Stall13.com video. Take care of yourself and your horses.